All right, so for today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to go ahead and show you how to make plarn, or also known as plastic yarn, which can be made by simply upcycling your old plastic bags. So to do this, uh, and turning it into yarn, so to do this, what we need is, very simply, just some old plastic bags, Make sure to go with the clean ones. Uh, least amount of holes means the least amount of scrap that you're gonna have. And you also need a pair of scissors. Now to start, what you want to do is take your plastic bags, uh, be sure to use clean ones, and just kind of fold them back up, you know, along the edges so that they're all flat, kind of like whenever they come fresh out of the uh, little bag dispenser things in the store. And so you can take, I'll show you just with one. I usually will do a stack of them. But once I have it, I'll lay it out nice and flat. Some people prefer to cut the bottom and the top first, but personally, I like to take uh, right up here at the top, sorry, and simply take your scissors and cut so that the handles just kind of fall off. Make sure you get all the don't get too close. You want to make give a little bit of a gap because right here, a lot of times they'll wear thin, especially whenever you're carrying your groceries or whatever purchases home. And then save these. You can put them into another bag and take them right up to the recycle bin. And then once you have that cut off, what you simply want to do is take them and cut strips of about one inch. And you simply want to repeat that all the way down for your bag. Now these ones are just some old Walmart bags just because I love the grocery pickup there. Now, if you do have one of those cutting wheels, um, the rolling knife thing on a cutting mat, that would make this a lot easier. But for simplicity, I'm just showing you with a pair of scissors how we don't really need anything super fancy. And once you get to the bottom of the bag, make sure you have enough to do, you know, with your last strip and cut off, I'd say about a half an inch from the very bottom of the bag, because I found if I get too close to the bottom of the bag, a lot of times also the plastic down here tears away very quickly and easily. Now you have a series of little strips. Simply, we take the strips, pull them open. So it's one big, huge loop. And then you grab your second loop, and I like to give them a little bit of a tug just to make sure they're not gonna fall right apart. So now that you have two pieces, simply take the one, one side, place it into the next, so it goes through this loop onto the other, and then simply loop back through after you've got your two pieces up here, come back through to create a simple little loop knot and pull it tight. And voila, you have one little length of plarn. Now you wanna continue going along with this with your little pieces of plastic. 
but whenever you get to your next pieces, before you pull them tight, grab the knot from the last piece because we want to try and keep them as straight as possible just to make sure they're more even. And then you just continue doing this over and over until you get a long length of the plarn. And then you can simply roll it into a ball and use it to create a new item. I think I get lots of compliments and comments from people, especially whenever I create a new shopping bag for it by upcycling the old bags into this. And then if the unfortunate happens where it becomes broken or falling apart, simply take it, toss it into the recyc bag recycle bin at your local recycle place. I don't know, outside the stores usually has a little recycle bin also for all of your old used plastic bags and you can just drop it off right in there. So it's still fully recyclable and you got the excellent use of a fun craft to do and another new product for yourself to use which ended up with no waste because we can fully recycle it. All right, so now we've got a whole bunch of uh, flarn all cut up and strung together and rolled into a big, huge ball. Now, whenever you do go to crochet this, I usually like either a six or an eight millimeter, just because I seem to find it, you know, hooks in easier and it could be a little more difficult to move it along. So using a larger hook does seem to help. So it works up kind of like a bulky weight yarn but you still start it off whenever you crochet like you would any other type of yarn. And just start your stitches. And the, well, you're working in two ply for this, so. And the bright side is, you know, if you have, say a little basket or something, or just some extra bags sitting around, you run out by the time you're at the bottom of the roll, or if you want to add more, right at the end, you could just loop on more pieces of the plastic strips right onto it to continue making. So there you are, you have plastic yarn or plarn. So super simple and easy to make. I do like to ball up and keep colors separately uh, just so, you know, I can add more character and different things into each project. But that is how you make the Plarn Yarn. I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial. If you did, give it a little thumbs up. If not, let me know into the comments. And if you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. And also that little notification so you can get a heads up every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching.